Hello and welcome to the demo for um, Bus Bro You Survived. Um, I feel like I should uh, free, I mean, go back and recreate my character. This is the character I made. I just I chose this shirt because I thought it looked nice. I didn't realize it gave me boobs. Um, but I also like the face. I'm happy with the character. I don't really, you know, I'm not concerned with their appearance. But it's a rather robust, I would say, um, choice in, in what we get uh, for our characters. I, I think it's quite uh, quite nice, for, you know, the choices and what, what we have. Uh, so uh, you can obviously, you know, fill around and, and choose whatever works best for you. Um, I thought it was interesting that the torso top, you know, like, I'm assuming that um, these tops are the idea. Instead of giving the body type a feminine and um, masculine appearance for the body types, they kind of just focused on the shirts, which I think is an interesting choice. I'm not sure how that's going to go over with others, um, but as I am somebody who is supportive of you know, the wide spectrum of gamers out there. Uh, I'm going to go with this character. It's kind of like um, if the doctor from Archer uh, was mixed with uh, Laura Croft. And, you know, I feel like that's what this character would be. And I, I think they're, they're, you know, fantastically made. They look, they look great. So let's begin, shall we? Now I should point out that this is a game that is meant to be played with friends or other people at least. I am going solo, so my experience compared to the experience you will have if you're playing with other people will likely be rather different. Used to write letters telling me that I was crazy, but look at you now. Green smoke's been lowing out of the government buildings and no one seems to care, like it's completely normal. I wonder if the general plans to make any comments on this. Oh, and thanks for writing me. Oh, we get um, no need to game. They come and don't panic. Yeah. That sounded better in my head. Maybe I should call again? To everyone listening in, hear this. I was right, just as I always am. You must get out of there, and fast. Sink or swim, sink or swim. I feel like that animal might be an artistic rendition of a um, armadillo. And there he goes. Another horrific accident right in front of my eye. Hey, are you okay down there? I'm fine, my dude. <laughs> I knew this false offense of my radio station. Dear listeners, I'll try helping these poor souls. And in the meantime, here is a great track for you. Bro, you survived. Uh, chapter one. All right, get to the gates. Uh, let's go to the gates, shall we? Hey, survivors! I'm zeroing in into your receivers. Do you hear me? <laughs> what a mess! Well, if you don't want to live the rest of your life here, I can help you get out of the island. There's a car scrapyard nearby. I will help you find something intact. Move towards the gorge. <laughs> Ooh, choose a weapon. One, um, one. Um, oh, okay, hold on. There we are. Can I pick up another one? And yeah, I, I, I apparently seem to have both of them. Well, that's kind of good news. 
Oh, we got a zombie. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. But right now, my pals are fighting real green aliens, and I'm here to witness it with my own eyes. Who would huh. have thought that the I guess they're aliens. An alien invasion under the guise of a chemical leak. Well, who is laughing now? Don't you feel ashamed about Weird. You laughing at my tinfoil hat? Told ya, they would come. Now, combat is a little bit less than appealing. Like, maybe it'll get better, but... Um, yeah, it's definitely not... Um, super good. Finally, you are here. There is the Mr. Cousteau's dump, but he prefers his own workshop. Yeah, and I'm the rock star then. Figure out how to get in. Apparently. Apparently we do have a little bit of uh, fall damage. It's good to know. I mean, like, I don't know why I would have assumed that we wouldn't. Probably because I played some other games today where you don't have fall damage. There's the bus further to the right. See? If you manage to get it out, you'll get it at a discount. That's what I want to do, is I want to get the bus. It feels like the bus is like the main <laughs> gimmick for the game. It's the MacGuffin, if you will. It's, um, I don't know I want to say that, but... These are zombies, the one I warned you about. Oh my god, we are witnessing a zombie apocalypse. Oh, now they're zombies. Before, they were not zombies. They were... Aliens. I like how this guy can't make up his mind. Reanimate the bus. Alright, gonna kill some more zombies. Interesting. Throw everything valuable under the bus. Well, we have to wait for that. I feel like the sound is like really, really low. You know, and it's 100%. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it just literally is very, very quiet. This bus doesn't even have wheels, man. Or an engine. been stuck in a dump for so long. It's missing an engine and four wheels. I was afraid it was rusted, though. You'll find the missing parts somewhere close. Just get them and we are ready to roll. Interesting. Just knocked all our stuff in there. Get a battery from the bus. I will, but I need to get all this stuff first. I mean, it would be different. This is why you want multiple people playing with you, so you can uh, speed up this process. It makes sense. I don't even want to get all these things, because I don't want to have to do all this. I just want to Get in the bus and drive and kind of see what that experience is going to be like. I feel like that's like an important aspect of the game. Um, you know, like already the combat is kind of like, I'm not a huge fan, not really sold on it. Um, I don't know where to place this battery, but I'm sure it can be used somewhere. I am sure there are spare wheels somewhere in this oh, heap of that's trash. What, that's what I've Close done. Thoroughly. Hey, none, of, none of this is like stuff I, I need. I need to... Um, Get over to the other side. 
Maybe I can jump over like this. Oh, I can because of course. All right, I only have to get to four, the four wheels, I think, and then I can. I can see you know your way around wheel. Find then I can do something door. else. Um. Yeah, I, I imagine once I get to... What? What? what, what you, is there a wheel inside to think that? That's what they're telling me. All right, all right, I got gotcha. you. Oh, look. Repair tools. We can fix anything with this. Okay, maybe not literally everything, but many things. Alright. Hey, what does this do? Ugh. I guess it's like gonna be important to like grab all this stuff and stuff, but. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go get the the, the other tires. We'll get those on the th on the bus. All right, three more tires, then we get the engine in, then we can kind of move on and see the driving portion. Like, unless the driving portion is amazing. I just don't foresee this being a title that. I kind of come back to after playing it today. And you might say, well, why don't I just quit already? Well, you know, because it might surprise me. A lot of times things surprise you in the end. Uh, you know, like you're just not expecting it, and then something cool happens. You're like, oh, okay, you know what? I can deal with all this stuff that happens in the beginning because it's not the complete experience. Uh, it's kind of like when you eat something for the first time, you've never had it before, and you don't know if it's going to taste good, and then at first you're like, you know, this doesn't taste good. But then you have a couple of bites, and you're like, you know what, this is actually kind of good. Right, I feel as though I need to get something, and I might be able to throw it at that. Uh, but I'm not sure. Fresh news. The journal has commented on the situation on the government's radio wave. Good thing no one listens to it but me. Here's the gist. Now there would be no evacuation. Citizens left on the South Island, out of Minnesota, and not leave until confirmation. <sighs> Son of a gun. Dude, are you supposed to be telling us stuff then you think that we can hear you? Oh my Alright. Um Oh sweet. That worked. my advice. If you're still in the city, leave it immediately. If you see green smoke, run as far away as you can and don't let the zombie bite you all left. And here's the third wheel. All right, I get it. All right, that is that. I don't actually know how to get this last tire, which is um what I would consider a minor problem. <laughs> Oh, it looks like, um, uh, doing that may have, um, uh, nope. And you can't aim upwards.
Well, how am I supposed to get up there? I can't throw anything. Uh, maybe there's like a slingshot or something in here. Nope, just a zombie. Oh, actually, no, there's something in there. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to give up. I, I don't know how to get up here, and I can't seem to throw anything upwards, so... Um, oh, hold on. Oh, there it is. Alright, I figured it out. Found all four wheels. The engine's in the place, but it doesn't work. You'll need a repair tool to fix it as soon as possible. You need to get out of here and fast. Now it should work. Get behind the wheel and drive. There's an army of zombies approaching. I'm glad you fixed the bus, but alas, the borders are closed. Yes, you need the shelter now, so let's help each other. Come to the abandoned rescue station on the Falcon's Nest. I'll be waiting. Lower in the bridge. Welcome to the Radio Rabble Secret Office. I'm waiting for you on the lookout platform.
And while I know there's probably a bit more to it, I mean, I I can just say that, like, I mean, the, everything leading up to now is just kind of more of a meh for me. So I'm, I'm just, it's just not really, I'm not really digging it. But anyway, this is, um at least you know what the tutorial is like and what you have to go through to get to the actual gameplay. If you like it, you like it, you know, encourage you to wishlist it. And thanks for watching.